right guys, uh, today we're going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to test a car stereo to see if it's you know, at least power on. And uh, this particular one here, it's a Panasonic uh, CQVD653U. So it's like a DVD player, double DIN unit. Uh, I got it in a trade and it's got a security code on it. So I'm going to show you how to reset that code too on these Panasonics. So first uh, I got a battery here, that um, just a lawnmower battery just to test, you know, 12 volts to uh, turn this on and bench test it. So you got a yellow and a red wire. Generally, you to get power on, on a car stereo, you usually got to twist these together when you're just testing them just to test it out. One's a power and one's a, a, a battery memory. And uh, a lot of them are tagged um, or there is a label on the radio itself that'll identify all these wires. You know, obviously your black is your, your negative, your ground. Well, black tied to speaker wire. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and pinch these on here real quick. And uh, I'm just using a set of alligator clips. Work for any little battery you need. And we got juice. I'm going to power this on. And as you can see, this says it's got a security code on it. Input a four-digit code. And I have no idea what this code is. I mean, I got it used from somebody, and he didn't know the code. You know, it was in a car that he had, and he took it out and replaced it. You know, So I did a little bit of research on the interwebs, and I found out that you can hold down the right track button for 10 seconds and it'll reset this code. So I'm going to go ahead and try this and see what happens. Boom shakalaka. So it's all good to go. So uh, I just wanted to make this short video for anybody who has one of these radios, one of these Panasonics that have that code on it, if you have the joystick on it instead of the push buttons, just hold it to the right for 10 seconds and you can get around that code and reset it and get it in your vehicle and enjoy it. And stop letting it collect dust on the shelf. Well, anyways, uh, that's all that I'm going to do for this video. I uh, just did this one while I'm editing some others. Also, I wanted to do... Uh, Mentioned too, if some of you guys are wondering why I'm doing this stuff at the kitchen table in here, uh, I just had back surgery about a month ago, so I'm trying to do as many videos as I can that are not laborious until I get healed up in another month or so before I can get out there and start doing something. Uh, once I get better and I can get out to the garage and do a few more things uh, that are not so restrictive is what the, the doctors say or whatever um i'll be doing a lot more stuff i got a i got a 347 stroker that we be putting in an 86 mustang and i'm editing some older videos that i did uh before i had surgery doing a, a, a clear coat peeling removal how to do that and how to repaint a hood or you know a deck lid or something like that uh, i also have some, uh, I have an XT350, a 1987 XT350 Enduro dirt bike, needs carb rebuild, stuff like that. Uh, so there's definitely some more cool content coming. And anything else along the way um, that pops up, I'll be recording it all and trying to get some, some good content in there for you guys. I really appreciate all the followers that have popped in there so far. People have commented. It's really motivating me to do a lot more videos and I'm going to I'm going to stick with this. So, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Rusty Jay's Garage.